Hi everybody, my name is Gene. I'm a graphic designer and an illustrator. I've been working in the industry for about 15 years. And today I'm going to show you another fantastic handprint craft. So get some paint, get some hands, and get ready to make a reindeer handprint t-shirt craft. So get an old t-shirt and we're going to cover our hand in some paint and make a cool little reindeer on your t-shirt for Christmas. You can even give it away as a gift. Probably you don't want to give it away as a gift if it's ugly and you don't like it, but if you really like it, maybe you can give the second or third shirt away because you want to practice this a couple of times to get one right. Maybe you have somebody that you don't like and you can give them the ugly shirt and then when you make a nice shirt, you can give that to somebody that you do like and they'll both have presents and they'll both feel pretty good because you made them something, even though the person that you don't really like got the ugly one. Let's get started. So before we get started, uh, most of the time I would recommend washable ink. However, since we're doing this on a t-shirt, you may want to rethink that washable ink and just uh, when you're finished with your, with your artwork, get to the sink as fast as possible. Uh, but right here for now, I have, uh, I have the washable ink because I'm going to be washing my hands off uh, a little bit later. So here I have a plain black t-shirt and I find that things show up better either on black or on white. Now obviously darker things will show up better on white, lighter things will show up better on black, but once you get into the colors, um, you have to make sure that you do a little bit of planning with the colors that you're gonna use, because obviously a red on a red t-shirt isn't gonna show up as well, but your basic black and white is gonna work fine. So, I have a plain black t-shirt, and what you wanna do is grab a giant piece of cardboard. You may even wanna layer it twice. This is actually a smaller piece, but I'm just using this to show you, and you put it inside the t-shirt, Okay, and the reason that you do that is because the area that you're going to print on, you want to stretch it out as much as you can and, and lay it flat. So as you can see, we're going to stretch this out and we're actually going to attach it uh, either with clothespins, okay, or rubber bands or something like that on the back. You can even use tape I've used in the past, but you want to make sure that it's stretched out as much as you can so that you have a nice flat surface that isn't going to give too much when you lay your hand down on it, because if it's not fastened really tightly, you're going to get a lot of this play, you might get some wrinkles in there, and it's not going to be that good uh, for your final work of art. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to set the shirt aside for just a second, because um, we're going to talk right now about how we're going to do this. And the first thing you do is, uh, I want to test this out on a piece of paper so that I can make any adjustments that I need to make. So for now, as we discussed earlier, we're going to be doing Rudolph, so I'll grab the red paint and I'm just going to pour this directly on my fingers here on the end. So then grab your paintbrush and I'm going to, I'm going to give myself a, a nice big Rudolph nose here and just paint that across, you know, two of my fingers. No big deal. Well, three fingers. Okay, so this is like the biggest Rudolph nose in the history of time and that's totally fine. Then, since this is a reindeer, we're going to grab a bunch of brown and just bam, dump that brown right in. Don't be afraid and paint the rest of your hand brown. Uh, we're going to not worry about the eye. We're going to catch that afterward. There we go. Just everything. Don't worry about how thick it is. As long as it's pretty thick. It's going to be just fine. You can, even, you can even see here, there's a little bit of space between the red and the brown because I didn't want to mix the colors on the brush. And that's fine too. Wow, that appeared at first as though it was going to be too much paint, but now it looks like it may not be enough because we want to get as much of the hand as possible. There we go. The, the, the center of the hand doesn't matter quite as much, so I'm actually going to scoop some of this up and put it on the outside, put it on the top, and just make sure we have it basically everywhere. Then, there we go, just scrape as much of that off as I can. Then I'm going to separate my pinky there and I'm going to flip the hand over and just squish it right down onto the paper. And the reason we're doing it on paper first is just to get an idea of what it's going to look like. After we're done with this, make sure you roll all of your, uh, all your fingers there. After we're done with this and we see what it looks like, then we can actually do it on the t-shirt for real. Okay, so you can see there's a couple of areas that we need to fill in, and you can actually scrape some of the excess paint off of your hand so that you don't have to waste any, and you can fill in whatever areas you need. So here's where the thumb was. I'm going to fill some extra in there, and I'll fill this in here. Bam. So now what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to take my thumb, and I'm going to add a little more brown paint to the thumb. Now remember, Rudolph is a young reindeer, so all we need is basically a thumb 
and we're going to roll the thumb to give him an ear. And then we're going to add even more to the thumb. And this time we're not going to roll it as much because all you want to do is grab the side of your thumb, okay, like this. And you're going to put it right out the top there. And this is going to be his reindeer antlers. So he's got little tiny antlers. He's got a, a big ear that we rolled our thumb with. And there is your little image of Rudolph. Once this is all dry, you can go back in here with white. And remember, uh, you can go in when you're done with this, make sure that your t-shirt is tight and around something rigid, and then do this on the t-shirt. But I highly recommend you do it on paper first so you can see what it is you're working with. So there you go, guys. Another fantastic hand print craft. Uh, this one time on a t-shirt, and uh, we made a reindeer. We made Rudolph because he's the best reindeer and really the only one people recognize. I mean, let's face it, if you're like, hey, do you know Dancer? People are like, oh, I know a Dancer, like my friend dances. Do you know Dasher? Oh yeah, I know someone who just ran a marathon. But if you say Rudolph, everybody knows it's a reindeer. No question. So there's a, another great reindeer handprint craft that we did on a t-shirt so you can wear your art around with you. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.